Hello, this is Phyllis and Lou White. Good to see you. Thanks for dropping by. We're going to read a letter from a couple, much like ourselves, they were probably about our age or close to it, and they sent us a letter of encouragement, and they share with us about four pages of some of the things that they've been through. And uh, in the context of the persecution and sadness and loneliness that we have as Nazarene, uh, Phyllis is going to read Yashayahu, Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 7. Okay. It says, Listen to me, you who know righteousness, a people in whose heart is my Torah. Do not fear the reproach of men, nor be afraid of their rev revilings. Yeah, they, they revile. They throw it back at us and say, oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Anyway, this is the letter. We won't reveal the name, but they do watch these videos, so they may be watching this as you, do, as you are watching it. Lou and Phyllis. That's what we're calling That them. would be me. That would be you. And I'm the Lou. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me get, the, get my goggles. It's been about 15 years since I was introduced to fossilized customs. Thank you both for your exhaustive research. You must have spent unbelievable amount of time, a true sacrifice. I was first introduced to the lies of Christmas and the Bunny Day and certain other fossilized pagan practices that we were involved in about 50 years ago. 50 years is exactly how many years we've been there. Mm -hmm. I went to the pastor of the fellowship and shared my newfound truths, only to be belittled and told these words. Now, brother, we know it's not his birth or resurrection. It's just the day we've set to acknowledge his birth or resurrection, to give him glory, of course. And concerning Halloween, don't be an old fuddy daddy. Just drop a piece of candy and a track in their bag. In other words, go with the flow. Maybe it will lead them to J E S U S. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the pastor, his comment. Now, continuing on in the letter. I felt like a fool, and still. I could not participate in their festivals wholeheartedly. Then 15 years ago, a friend handed me fossilized customs. It wasn't an easy read. More than a year to get through it. But have got several more copies, even the big hardcover, and shared it with, my min with many. I'm the one that's stumbling, not them. It was such a comfort to me to know I am not the only one to see this. Fifteen years ago, I got involved in a Hebrew Roots Fellowship, and it was great for a while, five years or so into it, but after they, after they saw fit to get involved in Kabbalah, that means to receive, that's a weird thing. It's called Kabbalism. And Talmud, and love to say, the sages say, as if they were, as if they read copious volumes by the sages, I saw fit to leave. After three years, After three years of confronting Jewish traditions and cling only to Torah. 
One common thing from the beginning, I specifically remember the unction I had. Don't give these people my money. I have now relocated to another place. I don't want to tell you where it is. They say it. And for a year, I have visited a few fellowships that I want, because I want to be a part, I want to fit in, and I want to be flexible, tolerant, and blend. But I can't support what I believe is not the kingdom. I'm okay being alone, not being recognized. Mm -hmm. We get calls from you all, all the time saying, I can't, I can't, I can't stand it. I'm all alone. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Where are you, Nazarene? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to address some things with you. Uh oh. I want you. No, I visit you. <laughs> I visit you constantly on YouTube. Everything you share, I regard as the truth. That's scripture. It's not me. Mm -hmm. In the last week or two, I've seen a few critics. Their objections are ridiculous. They are so weak. And do they really believe their ministry is to expose believers? Their purpose in, in a, life? <laughs> seems like that's what a lot of people do. They name their ministries after themselves. Oh, my. Now, Lou, Phyllis, why don't they expose Catholicism or mm -hmm. Protestantism? Mm -hmm. Not people. You know, we're not tech. We're not here to wreck reputations. Mm -hmm. I have been slandered, denounced, lied about, kicked out, labeled mm -hmm. as one who has been led astray by Satan himself. Which of the prophets of old did religion not slander? I'm okay, having no reputation impugned, rejected. It was that or swallow the Kool-Aid. <laughs> it is like Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. I commend you that you have not returned slander for slander or belittled those who accused you. In my eyes, you win. I would rather be a partaker in his death so I can partake in the resurrection than to have, than to have the praise of men. And then they signed it, both of them. Wow. This blew me away. And if you're watching, thank you so much for this encouragement. A lot of people need this. And that's why we're doing this video. It's not to make us look good. We don't look good. We don't feel good. We feel dirty. But we're clean because of Yahusha and Yahusha alone. And uh, a lot of people need encouragement because they're out there alone. And they have no one except maybe their spouse and sometimes not even that. But, uh, you know, endure. And we want to encourage you, if you're out there all alone, there is notsreamlife.com. Yeah. That's notsareemlife.com. Okay, I'll put that up on the bottom of the screen okay. here, real big. So. And, 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 and you can check. We it. have wonderful things planned there, and but mostly the chat room, so you can talk to other people. Without trolls, mm -hmm. hopefully. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.